Hi, this is Roseanne Ritter with RR Designs. And my project for today is a children's vest made from grandma's leather coat. A friend of mine came to me with this idea to make two children's vests, size four, for her great grandchildren from her leather coat that she doesn't wear anymore. We live in Florida. She says the kids love wearing her coat and playing with it. And I've been wanting to cut up a leather coat and do something with it. I have a bin full of leather coats, jackets, pants, skirts that I've collected from Goodwill and yard sales to make purses and wallets. Now's my chance. My friend bought Simplicity Pattern 80, 27, size 3 through 6 and chose the vest pattern that I have circled there. And she wanted the vest line, so I used the lining from the jacket for the vest. So I got going. I selected all the pieces for the vest, uh, remembering I would need to make two vests for size four. So I laid out the, the larger pattern pieces on the lower half of the jacket and lining. And then I took the arms off the jacket to lay out the front vest panel. Detaching the collar uh, jacket collar. I cut the stand-up collar for both vests. I had plenty of fabric um, and I saved the belt loops and the belt for the girls vest. I used the Schmetz Universal Needle 80 slash 12 and brown polyester thread. Following the instructions per the pattern, I started sewing the vest pieces together. Guess what? I found out pins won't go through leather. So I used the clamps to hold the pieces together while sewing. It sewed like butter. Everything sewed well, except when the top of the leather was on the feed dogs. It didn't want to move. I switched it the, the leather to the top and then it sewed really well. The vest lining, I cut out the exact same pieces for the lining as I did for the vest, except for the collar, and sewed them together as per the instructions for the vest. I had to remove a lot of seams from the original lining due to they were not necessary. I knew there was a way to sew the lining on the vest and turn it inside out. I googled YouTube and found out how to do it, and this is the link right there. Um, I put the vest right side together with the lining right side and sewed around every side except for the side panels. Doing this, you will be able to turn the vest inside out with the lining sewed in place, sewn in place. Sewing the side panels is tricky because it was a small size. I top stitched a quarter of an inch around all sides and the armholes so the leather would lay down. It made the vest look really nice. I increased my top stitch count from a normal two to like a 3.5, a wider stitch. And also I used clips to hold the leather and the lining together while sewing. The vests are finished. How do you like the way they turned out? This is the boys is on the left and the girls is on the right. I wanted to add the belt loops and the belt to the girls vest for her to play and have fun with. I had thought about cutting it smaller. Then I decided to use the whole original belt from grandma's jacket. Thank you for watching my video on how I made a children's vest from a leather coat. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And my so healthy tip for today is strive for seven to eight hours of sleep a night. Before going to bed, put your phone down or read a book. Stress keeps us up. <laughs> and if you want more stress relief, I have some great supplements at my website at https slash slash tampa.relive.com. Thank you for watching.